What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. A lot of you have been following along in our Steam Deck journey and have dual booted your Steam Decks, whether by installing Windows on an SD card or by using the method we recommend most by partitioning and installing Windows on the internal storage. One issue you may have come across is that when switching between SteamOS and Windows, it throws off the time and date. Also, some of you may have had issues getting certain games to launch, more specifically Game Pass games. I happened to stumble upon this by accident one day when I downloaded a game on Game Pass and it failed to launch. Simultaneously, I also noticed the time and date were out of sync and I manually set the time and date. I then went and tried to launch my Game Pass game and all of a sudden it launched. It was at that moment that I realized that there may be a connection between Game Pass not launching my games and the time and date being out of sync. Manually setting the date and time was a quick and simple fix, but I noticed that every time I switched between SteamOS and Windows, I had to reset the time. So I went to Reddit to see if other dual booters had this same issue and if there was a fix for it. I found that this was a very common issue and leave it to Reddit to come up with a solution. So today we will be showing you how to fix this once and for all. Before we dive in guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So let me show you an example of what I mean by the time and date being out of sync and how it can prevent you from launching some games. Here we are in Windows and you can see the date and time down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. This date and time is actually incorrect. It is showing 4 10 a.m. on 10 27 when it's actually 9 10 p.m. on 10 26. Now let's go to Game Pass and try to launch Gears 5 and see what happens. As you can see, we're clicking on the play now icon and it isn't responding. Now let's set the date and time to the correct date and time and try to launch the game again. We can manually set the date and time by going into the window settings here, just like you see me doing. All right. Now that we have the correct date and time, let's try launching Gears 5 again. And as you can see, it's working. The moment we set the correct date and time, the Gears 5 game launched. So now we're gonna show you what you can do to keep this from happening again in the future so that you don't have to keep manually setting the time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna launch the CMD application, but we're gonna run it as an administrator and all we have to do is type CMD, right click it, or you can just select run as administrator here, click okay. And then the shell is gonna open and we're gonna type in a registry edit. Now I'm kind of new at registry edit. So don't ask me how to do other things other than what I'm about to show you right now. All right, so running CMD as administrator, we're gonna type the following, just copy it. As you see it, we will also paste it into the description so that you can just copy and paste it or you can just copy it as you type.
All right, so we just hit enter after all of that. And if you did everything correctly, you will see it says the operation completed successfully. And now we will go ahead and boot into Steam OS and check the time and date over there. And if it's incorrect, then we'll go ahead and set the correct time. And then we'll boot back into Windows and you'll see that the time and date in Windows is the same time and date in Steam OS. All right, so here we are in Steam OS and we can see right off the bat that the time is about 10 minutes behind what it was or what we set it to in Windows. But if we give it just a moment, we'll see that the time will update to the correct time here in just a moment. All right, so the time has been updated. It is sh now showing 932, which is the correct time. And now we will switch back to Windows and make sure that Windows is still showing the same correct time. And basically what we've done is we've set the time format in Windows to UTC, which is how Linux or Steam OS uh, sees the time. So we have changed it from local time to UTC and windows. All right, here we are back in Windows 11 and we can see that the time matches the same time from Steam OS. So that seems to have fixed the issue. And now we'll go ahead and launch Gears 5 just to make sure that we don't have any issues there. And there it is, Gears 5 launches without any issues. And it's because the time and date is set correctly. So if you guys have been having some issues getting certain games to launch, especially on Game Pass, make sure your time and date is set correctly in the bottom right-hand corner. And use this registry edit so that you can prevent this from happening again in the future. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on future content like this. We're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.